And so for today, I'd like to have a working definition of success, and that's this way. As defined by Miriam Webster, the achievement of something desired, planned, or attempted. Right? Three very important elements, because number one, it's got to be something you really, really want. You've got to desire it. You've got to have a strong motivation to get it. Secondly, you've got to have a plan. Like Edgar said earlier, if you want a new career, well, you better have a plan about how you're going to do that. Thirdly, you've got to make the effort. You've got to attempt to reach that goal. You've got to take action. All right, so what are the seven steps? These are the seven steps that are found in my book. Number one, clearly, by the way, your goal should always be written. So if you have a chance, take notes. Number one, clearly identify the goal, right? In as much deep step two, identify, or I'm sorry, describe why it's important to you. And by this, I mean that goal. What are the emotions behind that goal? That's really what's going to keep you moving forward. Step three, identify the repeatable actions. What are the things that you need to do? Edgar had a great example of things that you need to do in order to have a successful job search, right? So identify as many of those as you can. Step four, commit to a schedule. Right? I mean, if you're going to do this thing, you need to know when you're going to do it, what time, what day, what action you're going to do. Step five, commit to the action plan for at least 21 days. Again, here, my objective is you're trying to create a habit. So you want to consistently work on this thing. 21 days is a great convenient number to kind of get you going, get the ball rolling in creating that habit. Step six, review the plan at least three, three times a day. It's extremely important that you keep your goal in front of you, that you review it and, and constantly remind yourself why you're going after it. Which brings us to step seven, which is the mean by this. I mean that there is power in this broken word. If you've ever heard of somebody speak and you've been moved by them, you've been excited by them and it gets you all fired up, guess what? You have the chance to be your own motivational speaker. So this is your opportunity to do that. 